<laughs> you want to see how this story unfolds today on the G3 Sportsman? Stick around. It's just getting started. What do you say we let this one go? I say we get her back in. Go get us another one. Get him. I'm going to tell you something right there. <laughs> Good girl. That is a good. I got to get him out of that. That's a heck of a crappie right there. Now get out of her way. <laughs> That's a good start right there. <laughs> tell you what. G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Be fishing the old man today, the Mississippi River, right outside St. Louis, Missouri, for some big blue catfish. Gonna do it a couple of different ways, and you're not gonna want to miss this show right here. So come on, jump the boat and go with us. We're fixing to have a big time. What we're, uh, what we're using out here today is we're using uh, fresh skipjack that was, was caught in uh, Kentucky on Kentucky Dam and we're using these moon eye, or I'm sorry, Asian carp. We're using these Asian carp that everybody has such a problem with, but uh, we found a use for them. These catfish really like them and uh, we use these smaller ones. We'll just fillet them out like you see here. And uh, then we cut them into little chunks for these side rods because they got single hooks. And on our hand rods, we've got two, a double hook rig that are snelled, and we use a little bit bigger bait. And we'll hook one through his nostrils here. I'll go ahead and show you how we do that. Go ahead and hook one through his nostrils, and just put this next one straight into his back, just like that. And that way, that fish gets a piece of that bait, he's gonna get a hook in him. I'll show you your double hook. Your basic double hook rig on our side rods are what we call the dead sticks. You got your weights on the bottom, I tie a loop right here, and this is your 40 pound monofilament down to your weight. And then we've got your ADOT team catfish hooks. And like I said, don't be afraid to expose that hook as much as possible. Make sure the scales are off of it. And we just put these little chunks right on there like so. And that bait will go down at an angle like this with the baits floating back here. And those fish will feed up most of the time. They will come up to a bait. So you know, a lot of times you're going to catch a nice fish on this top hook, but it uh, doubles your chances and works really well out here. Let's get us some more, Scott. They're thumping it, though. There, there's a bite. Reel down on him, Is that Scott. a bite there? Yep, reel down on him. Now you got him. What do you do with this part? <laughs> Stick it in the other rod holder or have somebody, oh, <laughs> have somebody come help you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm afraid to take my foot off this trolling motor. There we go. First fish of the day. Right here, right here in front of the McKenzie Waxler. There's a double. You got one too? Yeah. <laughs> They're biting. I'd say they are. Mine don't feel too big if I can keep them out of your other rod back here. Ugh. There we go. 
First fish. And a double to boot. And a double at that. I'm going to tell you, mine's bigger than yours, but is it? <laughs> How about that, boys? First two fish of the day. <laughs> How about that? Pretty little blue cat. Out here with Ryan Casey, having a big old time on the Mississippi River. We got all kind of distractions and craziness going on. This is going to be a fun show right here. Guarantee you. We say we go to commercial break. That'll give us two minutes to gather ourselves and get this done. We're gonna have to collect ourselves because I think we're about to get into some more. So good deal, right there. To it. Good job, Ryan. Let's get these back in the water. rod I'm using that, that we that we're using on the handheld rods here, the Fenwick Elite Tech. And this is actually their musky rod. I'm making it a multi-purpose rod right here. You see right here it's a seven foot nine medium heavy but it but it handles 65 to 100 pound braid. Now we're using 80 pound braid out here uh, now and as Ryan was saying earlier we've got anywhere from eight to ten ounces of weight on here and one of the best catfish reels that you can get is this Abu Garcia 7000i. I mean man it's got a big old brute handle on this thing, holds a ton of line and it's just a, a good all-round catfish rig right here. So this is its maiden voyage these these Fenwicks here, these these musky rods that we're gonna be catching catfish on so just because it says musky that just really means it's a big fish rod and Ryan just proved it because he just caught a a nice fish on uh, on your Fenwick right off the bat. Didn't it worked you? like a charm. It I did, didn't it? We, really like we didn't know, ride. but it works good, doesn't it? It works great. Hey, there's a oh, hit there right there, is. right there. <laughs> he's there. Was he not there? He's there, no, he's isn't there. he? He's there. Let me go. <laughs> Man, this is, this is like a what. carnival. I'm telling you what, this is fun. Well, these power rods do a great job in these holders, too. I really like the action of them. Is he on there? Oh, yeah, he's there. There he is, right there. That's a good one, though. He hit that top hook. Yeah. That top hook's about three foot off the bottom. Yeah. Well, I mean, man, I'm holding the rod, and I can't do nothing with you. But uh, oh, I'm I'm fine. We get anything bigger though. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna eventually have to use the net. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's nice size fish right there, though. If Ryan. you want a fish to eat, that's about as big as I'd keep. But that's the thing. You can come out here on this river and there is just a load of fish this size. And this is some of your best eating right here. Well, I mean, that's a 10 or 12 pound fish, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is this one here is probably every bit of 10 pounds. You got yeah. a nice healthy belly on him. And... I mean, look at that. I mean, they're all just grain fed. <laughs> oh, that's the nice <laughs> thing about this green here. They are grain fed and just healthy as they can be. Pretty fish, really pretty fish. And it never gets old, does it? It doesn't. You can come out here every day and do this. Right now we're, we're a foot over flood stage and we're having a ball out here. I mean, that's you know, so a lot of people think this high water, it keeps them away, but fish are here. They yep. got to eat. It's great, man. Good job. Let's get them back in. <laughs> this is just nuts. I mean, I'll tell you, anybody that just wants to have a unique experience and have a ball, I mean, come down here, fish with Ryan, go to a Cardinal game, I right. mean, you got a weekend here. Right downtown. Yeah. I mean, we've got so many business people that come and visit this city every day, and they don't know that they've got this fishery right outside their hotel yeah. door, or even in yeah. their backyards. And yeah. we're, we're out here, and we take people on trips uh, just for a few hours or for a whole night or whatever you need. It's myself and uh, Rick Bracken, and uh, we run Show Me Cats Guide Service, and we're out here to take people oh, out and put them on this fish you do show the cats there's no <laughs> doubt about that this I is mean, a show me state you've got this is this is this is just fun man <laughs> After that towboat goes by, we got he killer roller. He crushed it. He was one of them ones that tried to rip it out of my hand. These fish will bite. 
usually one of three ways. They'll hit it like a big bass, thump, thump, thump. All of a sudden, they'll just hit it and it'll go slack. That's when they really crush it. Or it seems like sometimes they hit it going down river and want to jerk everything out of your hand and steal your tackle from you. Another nice fish. You got him lasso with my line too. Yeah. yeah, you'll definitely have that. I was just trying to get it out of the way too. There's that little guy, nice healthy blue cat. We're gonna get him back in and see what kind of mess we got here. Oh. Now, now Scott, do you show these messes on TV? Do what? You show these messes on there? Well, yeah. That's part of fishing, isn't it? It is, that just happens. I grew up in this area in St. Louis. Uh, lived here pretty much all my life and started fishing for these catfish about five years ago. And I, I just fell in love with them. I did a lot of saltwater fishing back in my earlier days when I traveled. And, uh, this catfishing on this river is the closest thing that we've got to saltwater fishing. I mean, the fish hit hard. Uh, they really scream the drag when they take it, and uh, they put up a great fight, and they're abundant out here. Well, what we're doing is, I mean, you can do this on several different stretches, but we're, we're finding an area where the current's cut down right now because we have about a four mile an hour current out here, and, and that's really too much to drift. But what we're doing is we're finding a seam. We're right below a granary, um, you know, and these fish just stack up below there. And, and we're coming down here in the current using the trolling motor to slow our slow ourselves down. Oh, there he is. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> he had it though. Uh, but the fish will let us, let me explain. We're, we're coming down through here, cutting the current in about half and just bouncing our baits right along the bottom. And these fish are sitting in little contours, sitting right behind the drop-offs. And when our baits come over that drop-off, those fish just come up and, and just inhale it. And uh, like I said, we're using the skipjack and the Asian carp today, and, and uh, so far it's paying off for us. There he is. Got him? Yep. That's not bad fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, let me get mine in. Well, I really like these Fenwick rods, Scott. I hear you, boy, they, they got a good feel. They do. I oh, better get him in here pretty quick. He's wrapped. <laughs> he wrapped himself up even more. Oh, good job. Here we go. All right. Good job there. Man, they are pretty. Yes, they are. I mean, they eat good, they fight really good, and I, they are a challenging fish to catch. They, they move around a lot more than people realize. And uh, they'll, they'll travel several, several hundred miles. Yep. They've done some taggings here recently, and they've tagged some fish from down in Memphis and found them up in Kansas City. Or, Is that right? Yeah. Travel up to Missouri? The up to Missouri. Up to Missouri and, and, yeah, they're... They do travel a lot and uh, look at that. A, Man, what a pretty fish. Look at the pink on his fin. Good quality fish. Good We're having a blast out here. Oh, man. <laughs> Doesn't get a whole lot better than this, does it, Scott? No. Oh, right back where he came from. You know, I'll tell you what. Go Eric, out there and get us another one. You can tell that it's a little different now. It's uh, about 9 p.m. and uh, it's really peaceful out here right now you know during the day when we were down there in downtown st louis is pretty hectic you know we had barge traffic and helicopters and airplanes and god knows what all else and, and we caught a lot of fish we had a big time we're going to be doing the same method but of course it's going to be night and this is we're going to be in any different type of water or anything or... well what we're doing scott is we're we've moved up onto some flats and we're targeting the fish as they come out of the deeper water in the daytime and start feeding up the flat. So the fish that we're targeting right now, they're feeding. It's gonna be a nice drift. Like you said, it's nice and peaceful out here. The water's like glass. Oh yeah. Just us and the mosquitoes out this here. Is, and... This is calm, but hey, as long as you've got these bad boys right here, you don't really have to worry about too many mosquitoes. It's, we've got two of them in the boat. I think we've got another one on standby just in case. But we got our little Coleman lantern going up here <laughs> to keep us all, uh, Keep us, give us a little ambient light and everything. And so we're gonna cut up some bait, 
and uh, get baited up, get cast it out here in a little bit, and then we'll uh, start fishing, and it won't be long. We're going to be on another fish here in just a second. I'll let you do your thing there, right. Hoss. You know what you're doing. Let's so. get some bait cut and get some lines wet. You know, night fishing is is really just totally different. I mean, you, you can't really see everything around you. Sure, we've got a lot of lights and power plants, and there's granaries and everything up the up the river and everything, but, you know, you get a bite out here at night and you don't really know what or how big that fish is. You know, that, that just adds to the mystique of this river and catfishing out here. Wouldn't you say, Ryan? Oh, most definitely. You don't know if he's going to be 10 pounds or 130 pounds. Yeah. World record was just caught not too long ago right, right in this area and, uh, you know, now Missouri holds the world record of 130 pounds and those fish are out here. You just don't know the next bite. You can sit out here all night and not catch a fish and get one good bite and it, it'd make your whole week. I'm gonna try not to. We got us a, a decent fish here. He just smacked it a couple times and it just went slack. We're, uh, we're free. There he is. Oh, that's a decent fish. What is it? Decent fish. You want me to get the net? Uh, yeah, we better. Hooked right in that top jaw. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did I say a while ago about you're going to get a little nasty, you're going to get a little wet. You got your bath. I did. Now, hang on, let me. Oh, mercy. There's a full grown cat. That is a full grown cat right there, boys. <laughs> All right. That is a full grown let me, uh... catfish right there. Yeah, they will bite you. Son, let, me get... let me tell you. There you go. I can't even pick this dude up. He's a help you manage him right here. He ain't going anywhere. Go ahead and grab you a hold of them. And just support his belly with the other hand. Mercy. Son, let me tell you something. Get over here, <laughs> Ryan. Hold that fish <laughs> right there before he whips both of us. I'm going to tell you something there you right go. there. This is why you come fishing with Ryan Casey on the Mississippi River. Right here, you can have a big day on the water during the day, catching a bunch of fish down there in downtown St. Louis. I'm out of breath, not even catching. <laughs> and then come out here at night, and you can catch fish like this right here. Whew, that's a nice one there. I mean, you want to see how much you weigh? That's got scale on it. Man, once you go there, you got to stick with the number. I understand. He's a big one, though. <laughs> Man, he's a good. One. Pretty, that is a beautiful fish right there. Pretty, pretty blue cat right there. Let's let him go. What do you say? I say that sounds like a plane What to me. a great time, man. Thank you for thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming out, Scott. I've I had a blast. It. I today. love it. I've had a blast today. All right, girl, thank you. That's all I can say. How we guide is uh, pretty unique for most places you're going to uh, find catfishing services. Uh, we do a lot of uh, picking people up right downtown on the riverfront. A lot of business people and out of the hotels who have a few hours to a whole night to, to do some fishing. And the, and the way we do it is different. Uh, we, uh, we offer drift fishing, uh, back bouncing, anchoring. Uh, depending on what time of the year, we do day trips and night trips. We do a lot of night trips in the uh, summertime when it, to beat the heat and uh, the fish seem to feed a little better at night. And um, We have pretty good success with it. And uh, you know we're we're right in, in a downtown metropolitan area uh, in the summertime, and, and the action's hot. I mean, we we get on some pretty good trips. It's not uncommon to catch 40, 60 fish in a night. I want to thank Ryan Casey right there for taking us out and uh, and giving us just a wonderful day of catfishing. 
on the mighty Mississippi River, and I wish him all the best out there. You owe it to yourself if you want a unique and fun way to catch catfish, then go with Ryan and show me catfishing right there. You, you won't be disappointed, no doubt. But hey, that's all the time we got for this week's show. Hope you enjoyed it, and just remember, we'll be out there somewhere next week right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. The G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats, a great catch. Fioki Ammunition, what's your game? Abu Garcia, for life. Garmin, we'll take you there. Beretta, 500 years, one passion. Mossback Fish Racks, no matter how you stack them, we attract them. Berkeley, catch more fish. Shakespeare, quality fishing tackle since 1897. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. I'm hung on my shirt. Okay. You let now go you got right that buoy right in my mouth. <laughs> you want to let go right over here? Scott? I figure All that's right. a good commercial All break right. anyway. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, them boys can throw a wake. But when you come home with a little cuts on your fingers or some slime on you, or your shirt's all nasty and everything. That means you've had a good night catfishing right there.